Praise the Lord. This is Cornerstone Deliverance Church coming to you live. Rights to this music. waiting on Minister Sylvia Ben to get on. Generation to generation, Praise the Lord, Apostle Paul Owens. God bless you. This is Cornerstone Deliverance Church. We do own the rights to this music. Amen. Good morning, Sister Sheila Mack. How are you? Praise the Lord, Sister Carson's Lewis. Happy belated birthday to you. You are my God, the beginning and the end. The ever before your throne, I give you thanks, God. You are the healer, my Father, the love of my life. I give you thanks. God bless you. Enjoy the worship music. Minister Sylvia Ben, are you on? Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to his name. We give God glory on today. This is Cornerstone Deliverance Church. Amen. 830 Pepperidge Road, Westbury, New York. Website www.cornerstonedeliverancechurch.com. Amen. Hallelujah. This segment is supposed to be, hallelujah, no more delay. Amen. With Minister Sylvia Ben of Lagos, Nigeria. Amen. And I do not see that she is on Amen. All things subject to change according to the move of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And we're going to let him have his way, beloved. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're going to play this song one more time. Amen. That is why I say I'll forever give you thanks, my God. My God and my Father, you are the ocean divider. You are the reason why I'm alive until now. God be 
Sylvia Ben, are you on? If you on, say something. Beloved, there is a word from the Lord. Amen. This word dropped this morning. I didn't expect to release it, but I'm going to release it. Amen. Minister Sylvia Ben. <laughs> Jesus, you funny. Amen. Praise the Lord, beloved. How are you? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his name. That song forever give you thanks. Amen. That is only Jesus, a.k.a. Sylvia Ben, singing a prophetic psalmist out of Lagos, Nigeria. Amen. Hallelujah. We are not going to continue to delay you. We thank God for all of those that he drew this day. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to turn to Acts 6, 3. Acts chapter 6, verse 3. Amen. I want to start there. Acts chapter 6, verse 3. Acts chapter 6, verse 3. Amen. And that reads as thus. As a matter of fact, let us start off at verse 1. In those, in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the 12 called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom ye may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to minister into the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, Pilcurus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and, per and Parmenes, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. Amen. Amen. I'm looking for my glasses. And the word of God is blessed. Amen. I love this text here, beloved. Amen. Because it states here that there was, hallelujah, murmuring and complaining. There was a problem. Amen. Because the Greek widows was getting less than the Hebrew widows. The Hebrew widows was being favored. And the rations that was being given out to those that are in need. Amen. I love this text because this text tells us that we should take care of the widows in the church. Amen. But I didn't come here to speak about giving out rations to the widows in the church. Amen. Even though the word of God here says that it ought to be done. Hallelujah. They did it in the early church and we ought to do it today. We ought to know who our widows are and we ought to have a supply for their need. Amen. The apostle said that we are not going to stop ministering unto the word or ministering the word or giving ourselves over to the Holy Spirit that we may hear what it is that God is saying unto the people. Amen. That we may come before you strong in spirit and word. Amen. He said, choose seven amongst you. Amen. That can deal with this issue. Amen. And it, the, the seven amongst them had to be full of faith and full of power. This means a faith had to be in the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and they had to have the Holy Ghost. For the word of God says that those that believe shall receive. Amen. 
the Holy Ghost and you shall receive. And when you receive the Holy Ghost that you shall receive power to do any work in the church. Amen. According to this, even to give out rations to the widows, you had to have faith in Christ and you had to have the Holy Ghost and fire. This is rations. Amen. And today I believe that there's so many people doing the work that don't have no Holy Ghost. Amen. Don't have fire. Don't have power. Amen. By way of the spirit. Amen. The, the, even those in the upper room and acts, too. Amen. They had to wait. They had to tarry. When Jesus ascended, they could not do anything until the Holy Ghost has come. Jesus said, you wait here, you tarry. Amen. And you wait for the comforter to come. Amen. When people give their life to Jesus Christ, amen. The first thing that we, I know that I grew up in salvation deliverance up under the apostle William Brown. Amen. You wasn't working. You wasn't standing on the door. Amen. You was not ushering. If you ain't had no Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. You had to make it to that prayer room on Wednesday night. Amen. You had to be up in there with the prayer warriors, whoever was manned in that prayer room. Amen. And you needed to be, you, you needed to tarry until the Holy Ghost come. Tarry means wait, but you needed to wait with prayer and supplication until your spirit became one with the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the word of God tells us that he comes into the regenerated heart. Amen. We need to shift. Hallelujah. And get back to how it was set forth in the word of God, how it is set forth. Amen. No, you ain't got to put them on the door. They, you don't need to usher that bad. Amen. If they ain't full of faith and full of power, they ought to be full of faith and full of power. Amen. So we see here that they chose seven, one being Stephen. Amen. One being Philip. One being Pocaris, one being um, Nicana, one being Timon, one being um, Parmenas, and one being Nicholas, a proselyte. So can a proselyte do the work? Amen. There was a proselyte that was amongst them. Amen. That the people chose that was full of faith and that was full of the Holy Ghost. It don't take all day to do this work. Amen. Once the spirit is upon you, you should be able to go forth and do something. Amen. I don't care if you're washing the toilets at the church, cleaning in the bathroom, amen, wiping down the pews, amen, put your, put your hands to the plow and do the work, amen, there is always something that is needed to be done, even being a witness unto Christ, amen, about Christ, to the world concerning what it is that he has done for you, even if it's in your own household, even if it's amongst your neighbors, even if it's in your community, amen, you ought to know how to be a witness, amen, but what stood out to me here in this text was Philip. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm not just speaking to the deacons today. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to the entirety of the body of Christ, wherever it is that you may find yourself within that body. Amen. Philip started off in the work of the ministry chosen. Amen. By those. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus, chosen by those, amen, that needed, that, that chosen by those that needed help with settling a dispute, amen, pertaining to not being treated right. So he started off as a deacon, amen, but the Holy Spirit being upon this Philip, amen, Philip didn't just stay giving out rations, amen, because I look at Acts 8, 4 through 40, amen, it says that Philip preached to the whole Samaria. This is that same Philip, amen, did that, did that make Philip an evangelist. Amen. Apostle Paul said, let us all do the work of the evangelist. Amen. I don't care if you're an apostle, a prophet, a pastor, a teacher, evangelist. If you're one in the pew, amen, you ought to want to be a witness for Jesus Christ because the Holy Spirit upon you empowers you to be a witness. Amen. Everywhere you go. Amen. Hallelujah. You ought to be telling someone that Jesus saves. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Sometimes we looking for a platform in the church. Amen. In the pulpit. Amen. But that does not have to be your platform, beloved. Amen. So Philip, the Holy Spirit elevated Philip. Amen. There was a desire in Philip. I believe it had to be like fire shut up in his bones for him to be alone in Samaria proclaiming the gospel. Amen. And the word of God tells us in Acts 8. 
Hallelujah. The word of God tells us in Acts chapter 8, amen, hallelujah, that Philip preached, amen, and that God worked many miracles and wonders, amen, from him, amen, hallelujah, Jesus. Beloved, I'm going to tell you, the kingdom of God is not just talk but power. And we said this yesterday in the Facebook Live, that if the Holy Spirit is upon you, the word that you preach, the Holy Spirit is going to back you up, amen. Hallelujah. There was a witch in the town, amen, where Philip preached named Simon, amen. You think Philip was afraid of the witch, amen, hallelujah, for the word of God says that I have given you power over serpents and scorpions, amen, and the devices of the enemy, amen. God has given us power, amen, hallelujah, Jesus, glory to his name, the Holy Spirit in you is that power, amen, beloved, you are not in lack, amen, what do you do when you see the witch, you do the same thing that Philip did, you give the witch the gospel, you give the witch a chance to repent, amen, God, what did he do with Jezebel, amen, he told Jezebel to repent over and over and over again, but Jezebel refused, amen, and just like it is for anybody else, amen, Hallelujah. The word of God says that he suffered the witch not to live. So the witch that does not repent, hallelujah, Jesus, I'm, my God, your judgment is death. For the word of God says that he suffered the witch not to live, beloved, amen. I want you to see the progression in Philip's ministry from a deacon giving out rations, amen, to going about preaching, amen, and God working wonders through him, amen, where he preached in Samaria, amen, alone. Hallelujah. He was not afraid. Huh? When the spirit of the Lord is upon you, the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. Not that you can look cute. Not that you can be important. Amen. Huh? The, the spirit of the Lord is upon you that you may do a work. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to his name. So the spirit of the Lord is upon you that you may do a work. And what is that work? Amen. Hallelujah. That the captives might be made free. How? By the preach word that you are releasing. By the word of God. By the preach word. By the witness of the Holy Spirit in you and through you, my God. Hallelujah. So here we see elevation and the escalation, amen, of the, of the work of the Holy Spirit through Philip, amen, hallelujah, from giving out rations, amen, to, to preaching the gospel to, to the whole town of Samaria, amen, that whole city, amen, to God working miracles and wonders through him, amen. You just got to be willing to go. God is going to back up his word. You got to be willing to go. You got to be willing to tell it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to his name. May the spirit of evangelism arise. Amen. All throughout the earth, may the spirit of evangelism arise. Huh? And may you go forth by fire. May you go forth by power. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Huh? Don't sit down on the gift of the Holy Ghost. Huh? Hallelujah. Stir up the gift. Huh? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus, beloved. My God, and I want to share with you that it did not stop there. Amen. Hallelujah. That Holy Spirit elevated. Philip, elevation comes from the Lord. Someone type elevation comes from the Lord. Elevation does not come from man. Man can only come into agreement with what it is that God is doing, what it is that God is working. Amen. Those of us that are spiritual mothers and fathers, train up the child and they bent. Amen. Once someone believes in Christ and is born of the Spirit, amen, you could be 80 years old and you will be a child in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody talk to me now. Amen. You could be 40 years old, but, but, but because you are now born of the spirit, you are a new creation. You are a spiritual being. Amen. And now you are a babe in Christ and you need to be trained up and developed in the word of God. Said, Train up a child in the way that they should go. Train them up in that bent and what it is that God is doing in their life. Amen. Know the blueprint for their life as their spiritual mother and father. Amen. And come into agreement with that, train them up in that, that they may work that, amen. I find today people are jumping from position to position and title to title. One week, amen, hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? You are minister, then you are pastor, then you are a, a prophet, an apostle. Amen, hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. I remember back then there was a time, amen, it was about how many souls you brought to Christ, amen. It was about how many was baptized, amen, through your witness, amen, hallelujah. That's how we knew that the Holy Spirit was upon you and doing something. It was about that gathering and 
anointing that was on your life. Amen. How the Holy Spirit would draw those to flock to hear your witness. Amen. And that's talking about the sinner man, woman, boy, and girl. But we have gotten so crazy with this. Amen. That we're not even concerned about the harvest no more. Hallelujah. Be ye concerned about the harvest because that's what the work is for. Jesus Christ died for the sin sick dying world. Amen. That they may be saved. He said, I didn't come for the well, but I came for the sick. Hallelujah, Jesus. So when we bear witness, amen, of Jesus Christ, amen, and his finished work at the cross, we do it unto conversion and to those that we witness to are going out being a witness unto souls themselves, beloved. Hallelujah. And then again, I say elevation comes from the Lord. Amen. The word of God says, hallelujah, Jesus, glory to his name, that the spirit took, took Philip. Amen. Now Philip is taken by the spirit. Now he's doing spirit travel. Amen. Hallelujah. I know y'all want to say apostle, you crazy. What do you mean? He spirit travel. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, the whole, the word of God didn't say he walked. It didn't say he took a train, a bus or a car. It didn't say that, that, that he flew a plane up in the air to get to where the eunuch was, the African eunuch, amen, huh? but when you are willing to go, that the Holy Spirit will take you where you need to be, amen, hallelujah, Jesus, and I have that kind of faith that I believe that the Holy Spirit will take me where I need to be, yes, I'm looking for that Holy Spirit travel, my God, in the name of Jesus, by the blood, I heard the word of God say that I could do exceedingly and abundantly above what it is that you can ask, amen, or imagine, amen, that's the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. But the problem is that we don't dream no more. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. What is it that you want from God? Take the limits off because Jesus Christ is not limited. Hallelujah. Think outside of the box, beloved. Come on and think outside out of the box. Let's get crazy with this thing. Amen. Hallelujah. On Facebook. Amen. Hallelujah. And all of these other social medias. Amen. And networks. We need to flood the media with repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. We need to flood the media. Hallelujah. These airways. Amen. Hallelujah. Network ways. We need to flood it with Jesus saves. Amen. Huh? I saw a post. They said witches for Christ. Amen. But the devil is a lie and the truth ain't none of them. Because if you repent it, you're a new creation. You ain't no witch no more. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. My God, you can't be straddling the fence. You can't be lukewarm. Choose you this day who you will serve. Hallelujah. If you want to be a witch, then be a witch. But if you want to serve God, then serve God. Hallelujah, Jesus. For you cannot serve two masters. Amen. I'm here to serve you. Notice. Hallelujah. Leading the, the people astray. Making them think that they could be witches in Christ. The devil is a lie and the truth ain't in them. Hallelujah, Jesus. I serve notice on every witch, every warlock, every soothsayer. In the name of Jesus, by the blood, he gave me power over serpents and scorpions. Amen. Hallelujah. Spiritual wickedness. Amen. Did he give me power? Hallelujah, Jesus. And believe me, I'm strong personally, amen. In person, I'm strong like this because it is the Holy Spirit upon me, amen. I'm listen, I, I'm not no Facebook live gangster, amen. Hallelujah. Come on now, let's talk about it, beloved, amen. If you know me, if you know me, hallelujah, Jesus, the Holy Spirit in me works expressively through me, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I like to walk in that authority that He has given unto me. This is why we see preaching with no power, no manifestation, because you ain't got no authority, amen. In a pulpit, preaching with no authority, no demons being cast out, nobody being hill, no sanctification going on. You need authority. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. And that authority comes from your faith, being in the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, being born of the spirit and being placed in the body of Christ. Amen. Where the Holy Spirit places you, you don't get to choose where you want to be. Amen. This one week and that another week. No, say who God has called you to be. Amen. And he says, let us all do the work of the evangelist. Amen. Hallelujah. We all need to be telling it, beloved. Amen. There was a shift here. Minister Sylvia Ben, I see you on. Amen. We will come on later. Amen. I will reach out to you and we will come on. You got to be on time. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, you got to be on time concerning kingdom things. Amen. Amen. And God dropped this word this morning. I didn't think I was releasing this word, but God, hallelujah, he's that type of God. Amen. He will not leave you out there. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. And listen, hallelujah. God know you going forth. There's going to be a word from the Lord. Amen. If he have sent you forth, there's going to be a word from the Lord. So now we have we have Philip here. Now Philip, then he first he was giving out rations to the widows. Now he preaching the gospel. Amen. To all Samaria. Amen. Miracles and wonders being worked through him. I want to encourage you on today because he said that those that believe that these signs shall follow them, that they shall cast out devils. Amen. It's a devils. Amen. You shall cast out devils. Amen. God is giving you authority. You shall lay hand on the sick and they shall be healed. He said those that who believe. Hallelujah. He didn't say apostle her. Amen. Only. Amen. He didn't say the, the pastor, the prophet, the evangelist. Amen. He didn't just say that. Amen. What I love about the Holy Spirit. I'm going to tell you something about this Holy Spirit. What I love about the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus the Christ, amen, he revealed himself, hallelujah, Jesus, J just give me one minute, amen, I, I need him right now, God, I need you to bring this thing back to my remembrance, hallelujah, Jesus, glory to his name, he, he raised up Ananias, amen, and I looked up Ananias, amen, I, I, when, when they said that in, in the word of God said Ananias laid hands on the apostle Paul, I wanted to know who was Ananias, what did he do, what was the call of God on his life, the word of God says Ananias was devout. That's all it said about Ananias. I said devout. I said, what does that mean, Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Ananias don't have no title. You didn't send Peter. You didn't send John. You didn't send James, the brother of Jesus. You didn't send Barnabas or none of the other apostles to lay hands on the apostle Paul. He sent, he sent Ananias that had a relationship with God and Ananias saw open visions and all kind of things due to his relationship and God raised up Ananias. Huh? And he told Ananias a pop, that, that Saul is waiting on you. He's on that, that street called straight. Amen. Hallelujah. He's waiting on you. Amen. Because I had showed him in a vision that you was coming. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? That you was coming and that you was going to lay hands on him, that he will receive his sight and that he will receive the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Ananias did not want to go. He knew the reputation of Saul. Amen. How he was, how he was persecuting his saints. Amen gathering up, binding them, and putting them in jail. He had a letter and authority to do so. Ananias did not want to bother with the Saul because Saul had a reputation, beloved. But I'm here to tell you that there ain't no reputation like the reputation of my Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He made a show of the enemy publicly. That's what he did. Amen. And his authority exceeded the authority in the earth and in all the worlds. Amen. So when God tell you to do something, my God, you don't need no other authority but the authority of God. You better obey God. Hallelujah. Don't you sit down on the word of God, on the command of God, on the instruction of God, on the direction of God, or on the going forth of God. You ought to be a witness. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm a little excited about the word of God. Amen. Jesus, this word dropped this morning and I rejoice. I rejoiced in my soul. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I, I just want to stir you up, stir up the spirit of God in you that you will go forth today and be a witness somewhere because this thing is about soul saving. Amen. This thing is about soul converting. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, glory to his name. Amen. And it's not just about the foot soldiers or those, amen, that are sitting in offices. My God, huh? he said, let everybody do the work of the event. Angeles. Let everybody be a witness of Jesus Christ. Amen. The great commission was given to everybody. Amen. So now let's get back to this Philip. And I said again, Philip went from giving out rations to preaching to a whole city. Amen. He done preached to the witch got saved. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm going to stop there because I love how the apostles came in after they found out what, P what, what Philip was doing. Philip was over there. Didn't nobody know he was preaching to Samaria. But when they heard that there were souls saved in Samaria, Amen. This is how united the body of Christ was. Amen. In, in the history book of Acts. Amen. It wasn't about, oh, it's your work and is that work. It ain't your work. It's Jesus' work. The work don't belong to you. The souls don't belong to you. He has made you a steward and all you is is a steward. The apostles came in, amen, to further the work, amen, and they began to lay hands on the people that they could receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. We need to get unified with one accord because this is just about the body of Christ and the work of Jesus Christ going forth. Amen. Christ is not divided. 
Christ is not divided, beloved. Christ is not divided. Amen. Hallelujah. So, beloved, I'm here to tell you today. Amen. There, he was giving out rations. Amen. He preached to the whole Samaria. After he preached to Samaria, the Holy Spirit saw his faithfulness. The Holy Spirit is looking for your faithfulness. Study the word of God to show yourself approved unto who? unto God. God is looking for your faithfulness. Every soul that you're witness to is being recorded in heaven. Amen. There's books up there, beloved. You better believe it. Amen. The word of God says that you will be rewarded for your work and if your work ain't no good, amen, it will burn like stubble and hay. You better believe it. Huh? I'm here to tell you the truth about Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Let us do his work. Amen. Not your own work, but let us do his work. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? Amen. If you be a friend of the Christ, you be a friend of mine. Huh? If you be an enemy of the Christ, beloved, I'm here to tell you, either you're here to gather or you're here to scatter. Huh? Amen. Whose side are you on? Amen. I want to know. I want to know. Whose side are you on? Amen. Hallelujah. Are you with the Christ or are you against the Christ? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, beloved, hallelujah. So, here we have the Holy Spirit takes Philip on a mission. Amen. Because there is an African eunuch in his chariot. Amen. Reading the word of God, but he does not have an understanding. Amen. And God will begin to use some of you in that way. He will. That's why you have to study the word to show yourself or prove that you don't be ashamed, able to rightly divide this thing. Amen. Hallelujah, beloved. You have to get in that word just because you ain't the pastor don't mean you don't order study amen that command is to every believer know the word of God for yourself how could God use you and you ain't got no word in you how could God use you and you don't even have an understanding how, how could God use you and you don't have a developed relationship with the Holy Ghost how, how could he use you beloved hallelujah Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So the Holy Spirit took Philip to where the eunuch was. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? And Philip began to explain the scripture. Amen. He began to speak. Philip spoke, amen, the explanation by, by, by the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, where the Spirit is, it brings illumination, where the Holy Spirit is, it brings life, hallelujah, so the word was made life to the eunuch, my God, did you hear that, the word was made life to the eunuch, amen, and that's what we need, we need the word to be made life, amen, for the letter killeth, amen, but the Spirit bringeth life, the word was made life, to the eunuch, the word huh, was made life. The word huh, you need the word to be made life in your heart, amen. May this message of evangelism stir you up, my God. May it be made life in your heart. May it set a fire upon your feet, my God. Huh? May it cause for you to run for Jesus, hallelujah, huh? and be a witness unto Him, hallelujah, Jesus. So, beloved, I just want to share with you after he explained to the eunuch, amen, he explained, hallelujah, to the eunuch, hallelujah, what it is to, to be saved, amen, he explained the scriptures, and the eunuch said, well, there is a body of water, amen, there is a body of water, what suffer me not to be baptized, amen, what did Philip do, hallelujah, Jesus, he took him down into the water, take me to the water, hallelujah, take me to the water, to be baptized. The eunuch had faith. He heard the word of God. He believed. Amen. He was baptized in the name of Jesus. The next step was the incoming and the infilling of the Holy Spirit upon him. Amen. Hallelujah. And the word of God didn't go that far. Amen. But I believe, hallelujah, wherever there is a body of water, beloved, hallelujah, the earth and the fullness thereof belong unto God. I remember the first youth explosion that we had, amen, over there at Martin Bar Donkey Reed Park, hallelujah, Jesus in Westbury, New York, my God, huh? God moved in a mighty way and they gave us the public pool for baptizing, amen, and people walked in nurses and they nursed uniforms and all kind of things just to get baptized, people came up out of the water speaking in tongues, you better believe it, beloved, do the work, do the work, do the work, hallelujah, 
When you evangelize and stop telling people, come to my church, come hear my pastor, he, he or she is powerful. That ain't evangelism. Evangelism is that they can get saved right where they are. Know the sinner's prayer. Amen. Preach the gospel. Amen. Um, walk them through the words of repentance. Bring them into the church house saved. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let the pastor teach them and carry on. They was coming in saved. Amen. They was getting saved where they were. You can receive it. Hallelujah. Where you are. You can get delivered in the food lion. Amen. Hallelujah. In the parking lot, my God. Demons could be cast out. They cast out demons where they were. Hallelujah. It wasn't, oh, come see my pastor. He's anointed. That's not the way the body work. That's not the way it works. Get in the word of God and see how this thing is supposed to work. The working of the fivefold ministry gives. Get in the word of God. Hallelujah. Come to my church. No, get saved now. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. For everyone that is listening to this message. And you may be a sinner man, woman, boy, or girl. You may be a backslider. God, may you stir up the backslider, my God. A thorny hedge of protection calls for all their lovers to go away. In the name of Jesus, by the blood. Huh? Let them get saved where they are. Walk them through the sinner's prayer. You too have to believe the power of the gospel. Hallelujah. If you don't believe the power of the gospel, how could anyone else believe the power of the gospel? Hallelujah. Believe it. The simplicity of the preaching of the gospel, the death, the burial, and the resurrection is power unto those of us that believe, beloved. Power. Holy, Holy Ghost fire and power. Amen. So I just wanted to come on and share this. This just dropped this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. And only God knew. Amen. And I thank the kingdom of God for having my back, beloved. Amen. We will probably be coming on within another hour. Amen. With no more limits. Amen. With Sylvia Ben. It was supposed to be at 8 a.m. I'm prompt. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And when I'm not prompt, I thank God for mercy. Amen. But if you tell me eight, you got to be on time. Amen. Jesus, beloved, my sister Gloria, I love you, woman of God. God bless you. We ask that you share this message. Amen. Share it. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Share it that, that the evangelist will be stirred up, that evangelism will be stirred up. He said, let everyone do the work of the evangelist. Amen. Don't be afraid of the witch. The witch need the gospel too. Don't be afraid of the warlock, the soothsayer. Amen. I remember I was working in New York City, Department of Corrections, beloved, and and I'm going to tell you what happened. There was a man with dreads and he had his altar of bones and all kind of things in his cell and didn't nobody want to go in that cell. Amen. I said, somebody give me a broom. Amen. I said, and you'll stand by him. I said, if that witch move a hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus, I got two men posted up by the witch. Don't, don't let the witch move. Amen. Hallelujah. So now here we are in the jailhouse doing a search. Amen. Hallelujah. I took that broom and I swept his altar on out to the aisle in the name of Jesus. I put the blood on that altar, the blood of Jesus. Beloved, it's time to break every altar, a bell in every grove. My God, in the name of Jesus, by the blood, don't you be afraid of the witch. My God, you hear me? The witch needs salvation. Amen. We are born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Amen. There are people operating in things that you may may not be operating in, but Jesus, he is the answer for the world problem today. Don't you forget it. They need the same thing that you got. They need the Christ. Hallelujah. Even if they don't know it, they need the Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So ain't no sense in praying against them. Give them Jesus. Give them Jesus that they may be converted. Hallelujah. Lord, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because listen, there's something motivated behind the scenes of these people. You wrestle not against flesh and blood. Those are demonic spirits and entities and imps. Amen. Principalities. Amen. Hallelujah. And the word of God said that he has given you power over that. He has given you authority. Amen. So go forth and be a witness. Be stirred up. Hallelujah, Jesus. And God, know that God is with you. Know that the kingdom of God got your back. Amen. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to his name. Amen. Sister Rhonda, Road of Faith Weeks, God bless you, women of God. Good to see you on. I salute every one of you that is on today. Amen. We're here to stir you up. Amen. Take your neighborhood by storm. Go ahead and take it, beloved. Amen. Go out and be a witness. Let's turn this world upside down with Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to give this testimony. Amen. I think I was in my early 20s. Amen. Hallelujah. And I call myself doing something nice for my mother. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm the daughter. Amen. Of an evangelist. Amen. My aunt. Hallelujah. My great aunt. Um, Evelyn, she was a pastor, amen, in Brooklyn of a cathedral, amen, hallelujah, Jesus, I took my mother out to an oldies but goodies concert, and I thought I was doing something good, me and her together, the whispers, and everybody was there, amen, listen to this thing, beloved, amen, my mother came to the concert, she sat there with a straight face, when the concert was over, she went zooming, I said, mom, where are you going, amen, hallelujah, she pulled her tracks out of a bag, the first table she went to was the whispers table, and she began to witness to them. Amen. And they said, oh no, we, we believe in Jesus Christ. She said, then why are you out here singing this devil music? You're confusing. And then she zoomed them, posted herself, and we was at the Westbury Music Fair. Amen. She posted herself up at the door and she put herself right in between that door. And everybody that came through that door, she was, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, repent. She was on a mission. Hallelujah. God will send you into the devil's camp. Amen. Hallelujah. To bring out souls. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I, I am the daughter. Amen. I said, my mother is a soul winner. Hallelujah. It's about winning souls, beloved. My husband, Jesus the Christ, is a soul winner. Hallelujah. Amen. He saves souls, converted souls, sanctified souls, delivered souls. Hallelujah. And we ought to do the work of our husband. Are you the bride of Christ? I ask you again. Are you the bride of Christ? Because if you are bride not helping your spiritual husband with his work, shame on you. You derelict in your duty. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, beloved. Hallelujah. Amen. This is Cornerstone Deliverance Church, 830 Pepperidge Road, Westbury, New York, 11590. We do have service this Sunday at 1230. Amen. Those of you that's in the Edenton area, we're having Bible study and prayer tonight, 6 to 8 p.m. in Edenton, North Carolina at 400. What is the street? 400 Captain's Cove Road. Amen. Come on through. Amen. Hallelujah. And I promise you, you will get the word with the spirit. Amen. There's power. Amen. Hallelujah. I promise you that God is going to back it up. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, beloved. Our website is www.cornerstonedeliverancechurch.com. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Evangelist Sherry Dunning. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Shonda Pinky. Amen. God bless you, woman of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you could download our church app. It is free, no charge to you. The church app, you go to your Google Play Store or your Apple Store. It is corner, one word, stone, one word, deliverance, one word, church, another word. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Download it. It is free, no charge to you. You will have access to daily reading plans to the Bible, amen, in different versions and different languages, amen. So it doesn't matter what your language is, the church app will bless you. Our sermons are there, amen, beloved. Um, what else is there besides the sermons? I believe that's my sister, Tamiko Gordon. God bless you, woman of God. Amen. The sermons are there. The Bible studies are there. The prayers are there. Amen. As a matter of fact, we have prayer tonight at 9 p.m. Amen. 9 p.m. via conference call 712-770-4160. Access code 139949-POUND. We are praying for the leaders tonight. Amen. So those of you that desire, amen, to come on and touch and agree with us and praying with the leaders. Is even if you can't make it, you can touch and agree where you are, for there is no distance in prayer. Amen. This again is Apostle Asia Heard. I would like to salute my husband, Bishop Isaac Walter Heard. Love the man of God. Bless him. Amen. It's only right that I mention him. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, I am his rib. Amen. I saw a post where a woman said that the husband was her rib. I said, that's a lie. Amen. Amen. Man did not come from the woman, but the woman from the man. Amen. We got to get this thing right. We got to know God's plan. He's not your rib. You his rib. Amen. Hallelujah. Just to drop a little bit of nugget on you. Amen. So beloved, we're signing out here. Cornerstone Delivering Church. Remember that the blessings of the Lord maketh you rich and it addeth no sorrow. 
Amen. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Let your faith receive the provision in the word. May it empower you today. Amen. No sorrow, no, no sad stories to tell. God bless you. Amen. Alex, Apostle, is it Apostle Alexander Kwame? God bless you, man to God. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We're signing out. Amen. Continue to keep us lifted in prayer as we go and forth proclaiming the gospel. Amen. Going after the sick, going after the lost, going after the bound. Amen. Hallelujah. Because that's the work of Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching the CSDC International Broadcast with Apostle Asia Heard. We pray that you were inspired by the revelatory word. If you were ever in the Long Island area, we invite you to come fellowship with us. 11 a.m. is Sunday school and 12.30 p.m. is worship service. Midweek empowerment is every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Prayer in the sanctuary and 7.30 p.m. Bible study in the sanctuary and via conference call, 605-562-3140, access code 139-949-POUND. Command the morning with us through prayer, Monday through Saturday at 5 a.m. via conference call, 605-562-3140, access code 139-949-POUND. Study the Bible 100% online at our Theological Institute, a certificate program in Christian living, Christian ministry, and Christian leadership. Download our church app to your mobile device or tablet and contact us for all your kingdom needs, baby dedications, and christenings, weddings, homegoings, funerals, and memorials. Schedule your water baptism today. The website for the app is www.bibleandjournalapp.com forward slash portfolio forward slash corner dash stone dash deliverance dash church forward slash. It's your time to be made meat for the master's use. So come to a place where you can be loved, where you can be fed, where you can grow, where you can conceive and give birth. This is your season, working the work, being made ready for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's return. 